So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious homemade from scratch strawberry crunch that you could put on your, all your delicious desserts. You could put it on ice cream, cakes, cookies, um, all that good stuff because I'm going to use it to make this delicious tall strawberry crunch cake for somebody's birthday. So stay tuned and I'll be back. We're gonna jump right into this recipe. Guys, um, I'm making a triple batch because I got a big cake I gotta make. But don't worry, the ingredients will be left in the description box below. So for this crunch, I'm gonna break it down as if I'm doing one serving of this. You're gonna use one stick of butter and you're gonna cut that stick of butter in half, okay? You're gonna put them each half of that stick of butter in two different bowls. One is for the strawberry jello that I'm using, and the other one is for the vanilla instant pudding. Okay, again, I'm making a triple recipe. All right, so I'm gonna talk to you as if I'm doing a single batch, okay? So your butter must be soft because when it's soft, it'll make it easy for you to manage okay when you're making this crunch so we're doing both of these in two separate bowls now i'm adding a half a cup of flour in each okay a half a cup of flour in each because well actually i'm adding at least a cup and a half because i'm tripling the recipe all right and then what you're going to do you're going to take a fork okay and you are going to start mashing everything together until you get these crumbles these crumble bits okay that's what you want to work with and in the meantime you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees now guys um because i'm working with a triple batch there were points in this that i did not include in the video that i did use gloves because it was a lot to work with okay it was i had I was doing the triple batch. Okay. Now, guys, what you're gonna know with the jello, the yellow, um, the strawberry jello, it is a little bit more wetter than the vanilla um crumbles that I'm doing. Okay, so the strawberry crumble, you will notice that it will be a little bit more wetter as opposed to the vanilla that's gonna have more of a um, drier consistency okay so you're gonna do this and I'm gonna add a little almond extract in the vanilla that's just my choice okay I'm just gonna add a little bit of a, a almond emulsion to that okay and um, this is what you're gonna have and now what we're gonna do I'm gonna put this on a Silpat pan and if you don't have a Silpat you could use some parchment paper and just spray the parchment paper with some um, non baking um non-stick spray not non-baking some non-stick uh, um baking spray all right now usually you'll usually see people when they're doing this they'll mix the the strawberry and the vanilla together but i'm not gonna do that i'm doing them separate because i want the red to really stick out because for some reason i find that when you mix it together it looks more pink and I really want to see more of that red pop out from the vanilla. Now, guys, you must flatten this. Make it as flat as you can. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is does look wetter and more of like a Play-Doh consistency with the jello, like I stated. So, don't be surprised if you see that. Okay. And you are going to flatten the vanilla one. Okay, because guys, when we put this in the oven, we're going to put it in the oven for 350 degrees for about between six to eight minutes. No longer because baby, this will burn on you really quick. And this is what you're going to come out with. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this cool on a uh, cooling rack for about a good 45 minutes to an hour. Then after that, I am going to take it and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it cool for another hour. If you want it really, if you want it quicker than that, you could even stick it in the freezer. 
because um, we want that butter to solidify and it's gonna make it nice and crunchy. Okay, and we're gonna put it in our blender so we could get it going. All right, so guys, I got this in my blender. So I'm starting with little portions at first, okay, in my blender, and you just wanna pulse it. You wanna pulse. You don't wanna grind it all the way because then it's gonna look like powder because you wanna have different textures in there as well. You wanna have nice big bits and small bits, okay? And you're gonna come out with something like this. That is so cute, okay? Very, very nice, okay? And um, what you're gonna do, guys, to store it, what I do is I take it and I put it in a Ziploc bag, all right? And you can store it in a Ziploc bag. You could leave it out on, at room temperature, but I stuck it after that in the, on the refrigerator because um, I'm gonna get ready to use it the next day for my cakes, which I had already pre-baked, okay, made my frosting and everything. And um, it's just really nice because you could put this on ice cream, um, any other kind of cakes. You can decorate cookies with it, cupcakes. Um, I guess you could use it when you're making certain truffles and roll it in the truffles. I don't know, play with it and just have fun. So guys, these are my cakes, okay? I have two homemade strawberry cakes and one homemade vanilla cake, okay? That are all eight inches. As you can see, they're nice, tall cakes, okay? So this is gonna be pretty much of a high cake. All right, I am extra. That is the Gemini in me. All right, what I'm gonna do, I am gonna tort this cake, okay? Cut it in half, all right? Now, guys, um, as you can see, I'm speeding this up because I didn't wanna make it long and boring. You just take your knife and put it against the cake, okay? And just turn, turn, and turn. And the more you turn, the deeper you go, and you will have two different cakes. You can even cut this into three layers, okay? So um, I'm just torting my cakes, all right? And um, I usually, well, with this cake, because the cake is nice and moist, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna use any um, simple syrup because the cake is pretty moist. Now I'm using this blackboard because um, the person who ordered the cake wants, uh, is having like a black, and silver theme so I'm using the black um, base and I put a little icing on the board and now I'm gonna put a little um, layer of icing um, I'm using American buttercream okay I'm using American buttercream for this and um, I'm just topping it now with the other layer the bottom layer is gonna is the strawberry and the middle layer that I cut in half is going to be the vanilla Okay, and with that, now, now with the vanilla, what I did, I put some um, buttercream in it, and I'm also gonna take it and I'm gonna add some strawberries that I chopped up, okay? And I'm gonna put some strawberries in the middle of that, okay? And for the next layer, okay, and guys, one thing you must do when you're making a cake like this and it's really, really tall, because this cake was really, really tall, make sure you flatten your cake and um, level it pretty well, okay? Because one thing I am gonna let you know is that I did use some bubble straws um, to put in the center. And now I'm adding some of that strawberry crunch in there too. I said, what the heck? You know, I'm very tuluntu luntu. And now um, I'm adding the next layer, which is the strawberry layer. So I got strawberry, vanilla, strawberry, okay, um, for this, all right? And I did use, actually I used one bubble straw, well actually two. I did use two just to be on the safe side because you watch, I am traveling with this cake and I want it to be nice and sturdy. So when my cakes are pretty tall like that, I will use bubble straws. So now I got my cakes nice and stacked and I am now putting on my buttercream, okay? Um, my buttercream 
it's not as sweet. My American buttercreams, I don't, because, you know, American buttercream, you know, could be very, very sweet. But with the American buttercream, I use, what, about a cup and a half of butter to three cups of powdered sugar. I mean, it's sweet, but it wasn't overly sweet like the other butter, uh, original buttercream recipe that wants you to use for every cup, use four cups of flour. That's just too much for me. And I'm just, you know, um, using my turning um, tray here, my, um, God, I forgot what's that called. That is so crazy. You know how when you just go blank, okay? And I'm just um, putting the icing on and now I'm using my tall scraper here and I'm filling in any gaps. And with this, I'm not gonna be so precise with the covering of the icing. I mean, I want it to be nice and leveled and stuff, but I'm not gonna care if it's so, 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 so perfect because I'm gonna cover it with the crunch anyway. And I'm just using my scraper to smooth it out the best I can. Now, if I was gonna cover this with the crunch, of course I would have to make sure that this was exceptionally smooth. But because I am gonna cover it with the crunch, I'm not too worried about that. So I'm just going around, just make sure I'm filling in any gaps, you know, so it could look nice and even, okay? And now I am putting on my beautiful crunch on my cake here, okay? And uh, yeah, it's a lot, it's a tall cake, very tall cake, okay? Very tall barrel cake here, okay? And um, as you can see, I'm just coating it and I'm doing it now. I didn't stick this, I just did one coating of this. I didn't do no crumb coat because I want it to stick onto my cake. And this is my beautiful, beautiful strawberry crunch cake. I took some of my strawberries and I made like a homemade um, um, strawberry gel for it. Okay, and I took some vanilla cookies and I just put them in between that. And as you can see, the happy birthday sign. Okay, giving you that silver um, um, with the black and the silver. Okay, now if you want, you could do borders around the borders, but I really didn't feel there was any need for that. And my loves, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to press that notification bell so you can be notified of all my upcoming videos. And let's press that thumb button, that thumbs up button, so we could get this video out there. Get that algorithm going, guys. And don't forget to let everybody know that Jackie's cooking. Well, my loves, I hope you enjoyed this video. Look out for all my other upcoming videos. And I need you to do three things for me. And that is eat, love, and pray. Until next time.